It's your boy here again with another very informational Need for Speed video. Uh, today, you know exactly what's going to be happening today. You saw that title. Uh, today, we're going to be looking at the Ford Roadster here. Why are we looking at this? Again, you saw the title. We're going to be making a go-kart today. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to buy this car right here. This is the very first step in everything that you're going to be doing here. The Ford Roadster. Very low level. It can can't really do anything to be honest with you but that's not the point we're not in it for the speed we're in it for the visuals here we're here to make a lawn mower a go-kart whatever you want to call it what you're going to want to do is just have forty eight thousand seven hundred eighty dollars on hand and you're just going to go ahead and purchase this beautiful machine beautiful now that we're back at the garage this is the first thing you're going to want to do and this is the key that not a lot of people know is you're gonna actually want to equip something first and now if I believe it is the very last one yeah I'm pretty sure it's the last one because what you're gonna need you're gonna need this truck conversion and the reason you're gonna need this is because with these this actually has a trunk lid okay we don't want the trunk lid as soon as you have this it pretty much deletes the trunk lid option so you're just gonna go ahead and select that and then now we're just gonna do the good old swap a -roo glitch uh, I'm gonna be personally using the GTI just because I find it the easiest to use yes I love this car this is very beautiful but then you're just gonna want to do this simple switcheroo there we go and then you're gonna go to your car I think it's this one I have already truck conversion click it and then just like that you have the good old go-kart lot mower looking thing you want to select it and then everything after that is just using the glitches to get rid of these side mirrors you still got the taillights back here uh, me personally on my car I kept the bumper which was this one the one with the gas tank just because I don't know it's not as naked but you know there's still something there uh, everything is all up to you. You can go ahead and add the front bumper to it. Like I said, it's all up to you. I'm just going to be quickly trying to do all the rest of this stuff. I'm going to use my main GTI up inside wing mirrors. Go all the way down. Bam, that's gone. And then we're going to go back over to the here use the Raptor and you'll know why I'm using these cars because I always use them for my shortcuts and all that hopefully we can get this first try yep we got taillights there all the way down to our Roadster and then just like that the taillights are gone and then one more beautiful touch we're gonna add on to this is our good old John Deere wrap there I haven't published this yet because it probably would look not as cool on a regular looking Ford Roadster but then if you can customize the rims too like I did on my original one if you saw the last video uh, I just painted them yellow to look like an actual lawnmower just doing this real quick that one apply to all rims and then just like that we have our lawnmower or you can make a go-kart conversion Anyway, that's all there is to it, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, here's my original John Deere. This is the original. I call it a lawnmower. You can call it your go-kart, whatever you want to do. Uh, my Instagram will be in the description with the hashtag. Go ahead, click it, follow. Uh, send me your pictures. I might feature them on my page. Not might. I probably will, to be honest with you. But that's all there is to it, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a comment, a like, whatever you want. And I uh, hope you guys have a good one.